Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another getting ready with me really quick because I need to do a couple of other videos and I just want to do a basic look. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I mentioned that I'm having like a hard time putting on makeup these days. I just, there are times when I forget how to put on makeup and I just, I don't know. So we're just gonna put on makeup today. Um, I'm gonna prep with this MAC Prep and Prime that my friend gave me. I'm obsessed with it. I, I did use the Pixi Skin Treatments Wake Up Mist after I got out of the shower um, because I went on a hike today and I just, I felt like I needed more to my face and as you guys know, I'm just, yeah. So I am currently adjusting to a different schedule and by different schedule I mean like an actual morning job I mean I'm usually used to just sleeping in like my schedule is really weird so I wake up in the morning and kind of like I really don't want to wear makeup you know what I mean so I've been using uh the benefit gimme brow again I was using it before and then I kind of stopped and I just still love it it's just not enough to make your eyebrows extremely thick it just gives them enough color to you know make them look fuller <laughs> and i like that and i need that i don't really care much for my eyebrows i know we talked about this before or i've talked about this before but eyebrows are not my forte and i don't really you know i don't really try too hard on them i i'm i I don't know. <laughs> that's 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 about it, basically. Is I really don't try very hard on them, um, which I, I might I probably should, but I don't. <laughs> you know how that is. See, they already look fuller. So one thing I love about this brow stuff is there's not very much cleanup. Like I really don't have much to shape or anything, but still, I like to line the bottom as usual. So my run is May 7th which is only a couple of weeks away and I am not sure if I'm prepared I always psych myself out before a run and I've been doing them for three years now and I just it's just a bad habit I don't know if you've been following me uh, for a while but those of you who have those of you who have my snapchat punk rose that you guys have probably seen me get extremely nervous for this run before and also like right before every single marathon or half marathon excuse me I'm not a marathoner yet yeah, that's on my bucket list is to run a half marathon that's on my bucket list to run a marathon you know uh, I don't know when that's gonna happen because currently my max is I think 14 miles that's the most I've ever ran and I just I think I'm a little bit too scared to do any more than that, but since it's on my bucket list, I mean, I'm sure it's going to happen. Right now, my current goal, I would say, is I want to do a run in every state. So that's a definitely something I want to do. That's non-negotiable. <laughs> Jeez. I, I can't, I forget how to speak apparently, but that is definitely non-negotiable. I am for sure, for sure going to do a half marathon in every state. I have two down. 48 or, you know, 49 to go. Depends on how you see. Uh, honestly, I think my next one is going to be either New York or Chicago. I did consider the Las Vegas rock and roll half marathon. Like, that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really, really considering it. So this is honestly one of my everyday go-to palettes. Obviously, I'm sure it's a lot of yours. It's just such an easy palette to use on a daily basis. But I don't know if any of my followers are runners. I kind of hope so, because then we have something to relate to. Aside from makeup, I did go from running lipstick queen, obviously, to RLQ. And that changed because when I went to Gem Beauty, I was like really into what Michelle Fawn said and she said branding herself was the best thing you know she could do. I just feel like Rosie is such a ba basic name. I mean that sounds weird but uh, uh, I mean my real name Rosie Rodriguez is just I don't think that would brand very well so that's why I kind of just shortened the the running lipstick queen. 
So that's how I got RLQ Rosie uh, instead of, you know, just running lipstick queen. I just feel like running lipstick queen, I kind of grew out of it. Plus I stopped posting running pick posts because I felt like my followers wanted to see more runs, or sorry, wanted to see more makeup, but I'm slowly trying to, you know, work my way back to that. In fact, I think I mentioned it in my last video, is I really, really, really do want to start posting more about my workouts, and I think once a month, because my currently my uploads are Sunday and Wednesdays, and I think what I can do is just swap out one of those days, at least once a month. And thanks to King Ken Kennedy, she's constantly motivating me to just go for it and it's really helped me a lot to kind of stay motivated and I know Jesse listens but it's just a different story because obviously people who have to deal with it are a little more inclined to understand a little bit better you know you know what I'm saying anyways so yeah expect probably a workout video here in the near future I was actually going to record one today but I went to the stadium and it just was so crowded. I think it's spring break and I think they have practices going on and I was not about to do my workouts in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> I mean, I get really insecure, believe it or not. So I went for a run on the mountain and it was the worst run ever, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, not really, but my pace was a minute slower than usual and that run is a lot of uphill it's 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 a mountain so I you know my pace is already slow as is because I'm constantly challenging myself running uphill and when I go slower it's it's hard on me I kind of go I kind of beat myself up over it so then I went to the gym obviously to do my my follow-up like I always go to the gym and do some weights for my legs because you just that's just my routine that's why I want to record it so you guys can understand what I do it's just like I don't know but so I went to the gym and the gym was just horrible. I was so angry. In fact, one of my friends who works at the gym tried to say bye to me and I just apparently blew them off because I, I honestly, I was in my own zone. I left and I was kind of beating myself up in my head. I'm really, really harsh on myself and I, I do need to get over that. And I know I'm not the only one, but I just... I'm constantly getting called out on it by my friends. My friends are always like, Rosie, you're really hard on yourself. I'm like, yeah, I know, thanks. Thanks for reminding me. But I'm really glad that they kind of can recognize my uh, hoard habits. <laughs> so this right here, I'm so sad I'm almost out of. Like, I've already hit pan, and I try and be really careful with it, but this is one of my everyday go-to shades, and it's from ColourPop, and I'm really sad because it's their limited edition one. I don't know if you have it. It's Birthday Girl, the first one. I did purchase the birthday boy and I don't love that one as much. So I'm not going to wear eyeliner today. I just haven't been in an eyeliner mood, which really sucks because I did get that Jessie's Girl and I freaking love that liner so much. It makes my life easier. But I always add shimmer to my eyes. I know if you watch my favorites video, you know I've been using Smoky Storm also for kind of an everyday look, but I didn't want to do that today. I wanted to do ColourPop because I love ColourPop. I really do think it's one of the best affordable brands out there, so if you haven't tried it, which I would be super shocked, then you need to get on that, honestly. It's one of the best. So I've been really into color correcting lately. I got this from my Ipsy, I think it was. It's the City Color photo chic dark spot corrector so I've been using it for under my eye because lord knows my sleeping habits have been atrocious and I'm just I'm just trying to get used to them you know so <laughs> look this just covers up the dark circles and a little bit of my acne scars because they're just extremely noticeable with the sun these days just because I get tan really, really easy like I don't know if you can see this like look at this this is just from today. Oh my gosh, my phone is going off like crazy. <laughs> but this tan is just from today. I just, so yeah, my, my skin's been responding to it accordingly, you know? The darker spots have been a little bit more noticeable and my acne has been acting up. Ever since my getting ready with me on camera, like seriously, my skin just went like, oh, see ya. 
it went from not so great to just terrible like Rosie you don't deserve to be doing getting ready with me so we're just gonna make you even uglier you know like that's kind of how I felt and <laughs> it was kind of sad I am gonna use a new brush that I have used only a couple of times I got it from Octoly and so far I'm freaking loving it it is this brush right here I'm gonna be using this foundation just because it does have SPF 15 and I always like to have that coverage and this is kind of what I've been using it I do mix it with the pro matte sometimes it just depends on how I'm feeling for the day some mornings I'm like nah and some mornings I'm like yes you know, it depends on how matte I want to be and it really honestly depends on my face too like what my what my eyes are looking like for the day but like, seriously look at how great it is it's just super precise for foundation application I haven't really run into a problem with it yet and I'm, I'm pretty impressed I have other brushes that I like for foundation but I think this one is kind of slowly becoming one of my favorites so I've been using a lot of the Too Faced concealer the Born This Way concealer and I'm really glad when I got it at Gen Beauty, they gave me a somewhat darker shade. Like I couldn't use it in the winter time as much because it's too yellow. But now that I have a lot more tan to my face, it's just like, I need it. Like seriously, this brush just busts everything out. My sharks made it to the playoffs. So I think I'm gonna record another video in my jersey last year I don't know if you saw that video it was a, a swatch video Jeffree Star's darks so I'm gonna put on mascara I'm still loving this mascara I don't know if I mentioned it before I don't know if it's been in one of my favorites video or not but it's the TARDIS mascara it's just it's perfect it's one of the greatest mascaras I freaking own I keep going back to it sometimes though I swear it just does not like me. It's because I use it so much. But I'm like, nah, I think I'm gonna use it again. I'm not gonna lie, my lighting right now is being stupid. I'm getting really grumpy about it, but it hates me. It's like, no, 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 no. I almost didn't record. I know last week I napped before I recorded and I regretted it. So today I'm like, no. I am going to record before I get too lazy. I don't want to record, you know? I feel like my lighting is off today and it's bothering me. So I'm so sorry if you notice that my lighting is off today and it bothers you too. But this is honestly one of my favorite blushes. This is so highly underrated. It's a Berry Amore from Milani. It just gives you the perfect rosy blush. I'm not gonna put on a highlighter or um or I'm not contouring at all. That's, that's I don't do that. <laughs> I swear the only time I actually do anything elaborate like that is for YouTube. I'm a very boring girl, believe it or not. Like you guys get to see the fun, exciting side of me. <laughs> I don't wear makeup most days of the week. I am going to use one of my favorite shades. Of course, <laughs> Jeffree Star's Leo. Like even lipstick, I feel like I forget how to put on lipstick these days. I'm very glowy today and that's because I didn't mix my Pro Matte with the Pro Glow. So, I mean Pro Glow does what it's supposed to do and it makes you glow, you know? I'm not gonna put any falsies on or anything because this is like I said, just a super basic look. Like this is like my everyday go-to look. Sometimes I use eyeliner, sometimes I don't. And this time I'm not gonna use eyeliner just because like I said, I've really been using eyeliner and I don't, Odd. I don't know. Anyways, I will be right back. And there you go. <laughs> this is my super simple everyday look. <laughs> it's so exciting, I know. Uh, but seriously, this is my go-to everyday, I need to get ready in 15, 20 minutes look. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I have a little bit more time, 
then I go with the liner and then it's like 20 minutes but you know more like a 15 minute look I, I, I don't like taking my time with my makeup in the mornings I seriously like get ready go be done that's why my eyebrows are super simple as you can see I don't really do much with them I just I just color them in <laughs> that's why I'm so thankful for benefits give me brow but yeah that's it I am so happy you guys sat here and listened to me ramble for like the last 15 minutes or whatever however long this video is um but if you don't like this video though please just walk away pretend it did not happen if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up please of course subscribe if you're not already turn on my notifications so you know when I post Wednesdays and Sundays for now so yeah, that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.